Hi guys. I'm down here, looks like Catherine's not been here for a long time. I used to have an office here. Uh, okay, I'm on. I'm on the main road into Los Alcatraz. You've got the arches, the arches up that way. Uh, and tonight, it's my mum's last night, we're going to the 222 Watt Buffet. And it's like most Watt Buffets, it can be hit and miss, so you never know until you get in there. So, let's see if we can show you a bit of it. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. So, good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. So how it works at the walks typically is you have areas where you can get raw products like raw meats and raw vegetables and things like that. They'll do that on the plancher. And then you also, as you move along, you'll end up with things that you can use for stir fry. And when you go to the stir fry counter, they cook it all fresh for you there while you wait, while you're watching, and you can choose the type of sauce that you want it cooking in. Also, what you will find with a lot of them, you will find that there's not necessarily gonna be a description, so if you have allergies, you need to be advised because they don't tell you what the actual dishes are, never mind what the allergies are. No doubt if you speak with servers, the hostess, you know, the waiters, that sort of thing, uh, and tell them what you're allergic to if you've got allergies, they'll be able to uh, advise you accordingly. Usually you get a good selection, so it's, it's quite good. As you can see here, I've picked out some raw vegetables, bit of chicken, bit of fish, bit of beef. Guys, literally, he'll do it on the plancher there and then while I wait. Usually quite tasty, you know it's gonna be fresh, as a rule. You can get bad ones, but usually they're not too bad. Only thing you need to watch for is sometimes the soup, the items can be uh, slightly salty, shall we say. Now, I'm not actually here on my own, I'm with my mum, but she's asked not to be filmed, so it'll look like it's just me being a fat pig <laughs> for a change. Sure, it's potato and not. Pardon? Sure, it's potato. So that's my mum's first mm -hmm. round. Usually, between us, we typically manage, I don't know, two, three, four. So I'm guessing that's a spare rib. Yeah. You've got crispy seaweed, you've got sesame prawn toast, you've got pancake roll. That looks like um, that we had last night, what was it? Oh. Prawn in uh, batter. Mm. And, that, and potato croquette, and then I've just got a selection of meat and veg that's been done on the uh, plancher. I enjoyed all of that. The chicken on the skewer is a bit spicy, which is nice. The fish is like Maluta or cod or hay or something, that's nice. Horns are fiddly, to be expected. Veg is nice and fresh. You can quite easily eat, let's say if it's 13 or 15 or 16 euros each, you can quite easily eat 10 euros. That'll be during the day and that like. You can quite easily eat 10 euros worth of asparagus at the minute. So what happens is you leave your plate, you go and get some more food, and when you come back, your plate should be gone. The wasabi, the green stuff is Japanese horseradish and it's a little bit warm to say the least. If you've got a cold or something it definitely clears your um, block sinuses. So Mum's got two different types of noodles and a few different stir fries and that lot. I've had a bit of fish, and some seaweed, some duck, a bit of chicken, spare rib. I've got a couple of beef dishes, I'm guessing that's probably beef and green pepper and black bean sauce. That might be beef with onions and garlic. There's a, a rib there that's done in some sort of sauce. Instead of duck and chicken that looks like it's uh, a little bit spicy as well, and a few noodles. Just get little bits of each thing. So if you've never tried stuff before, this is a good way. Try stuff. What I will say, and it's not a criticism of this one, but they're all like it, is the food can tend to be highly salted, shall we say. But they all like that, so just bear that in mind. So there's my ingredients for my stir fry.
I've got green pepper, red pepper, bit of chicken, bit of beef, normal mushrooms, I don't like shiitake mushrooms, a couple of noodles, some peas, um, onion, and a couple of other veggies, broccoli, and it smells great. Mum's now onto the puddings, onto the desserts. This is like being at one of my birthday parties in the 70s. Mum's words were, she's not had this for years. Good old fashioned, 70s staple, jelly and ice cream. Here's something for you to be aware of, for this one. It's 10.95 for adults, 7.95 for kids. But that doesn't include tax, you'll see there, tax is not included, which I think is about 10% on top. Also not included are drinks. Now, you need to get a minimum of one drink per person, but if it's soft drinks, you know, the refills are free. But not on the water. I thought it were, it weren't expensive. Hey? 29.70, it's only 15 euros each. So yeah, it was what it was, not been for two years. Yeah. No complaints, at least it was all right this time. Like I said, the water buffets can be hit and miss, all of them. Well, apart from this one that we know of that's always miss. Well, that's it from uh, Walk 222. Hope you've enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that bell. See you soon. That's the photo.